Welcome to the Center Ice Hockey League Rules Update. The CIHL is an adult recreational league for those who have an interest in playing the game of hockey. It's not a pro or semi-pro league and as such prides itself on the ability of the players to have fun. So let's take a moment and have all players and referees review some of the aspects of our league. The CIHL has adopted the NCAA rulebook and utilizes certified and patched officials. The reason for going to the NCAA was its emphasis on the constant movement and flow of the game and the discouragement of players to take penalties. Now let's look at specific NCAA rules. In regards to icing the puck, icing shall be waved off and nullified any time the goalkeeper leaves the crease regardless if they try to play the puck or not. Goalies must not tie up the puck unless they are immediately placed under pressure by an attacking player. An attacking player may be in the goalie's crease as long as they do not physically interfere with the keeper. The CIHL is a non-checking league. This does not mean, however, that it's a no-contact league. Now let's clarify some of the more routinely called penalties. Hooking occurs any time a player's stick hooks an opponent in the midsection or on the hands, pulls back and prevents that player from playing the puck. Hooking also occurs when a player hooks an opponent's stick, pulling it back and away from the puck. This is often confused with trying to quickly hit a stick and lift the opponent's stick to gain possession of the puck, which is a legal play. Tapping an opponent's stick at the blade to gain possession of the puck is also legal, but should not be mistaken for hitting an opponent on the upper end of the shaft or near their hands, which is considered slashing. If an attacking player passes the puck around a defenseman and takes a line to get to that puck, the defenseman should keep skating and utilize speed to catch up to that player. They should not take a step out of their skating lane and prevent the attacking player from getting to the puck. This is considered obstruction interference. Here we see a defending player utilize a legal stick press against the puck carrier by placing the stick against his body with no forward thrusting or pushing. Use of the stick to gain possession of the puck is legal, but it becomes illegal when a hand is taken off the stick and used to grab or prevent the opponent from moving forward. Here's an example of another legal play, utilizing the body while moving to pinch a puck carrier into the boards. This is legal body contact during play. It becomes illegal when the arms, body, or hips are used to push the puck carrier into the board. And finally, during a face-off, if a center prevents the opposing player from moving forward after the puck in any way, it is deemed obstruction interference. Another NCAA rule is the obtainable pass. Whenever an icing situation exists, if the puck passes on the ice within a stick length of any player past the center red line, icing is nullified. In an attempt to discourage penalties, anytime your team is called for an infraction, the face-off will always be brought all the way down to your defending zone. The same is true for all high stick calls and hand passes. All players called for fighting will receive a game disqualification and an additional one game suspension. The CIHL prohibits the consumption of alcohol and anyone caught will be requested to immediately dispose of it or be removed from the mezzanine, the spectator area, or the ice surface. Additional action can be taken by the league administration. Remember, the focus of the CIHL is to keep the game moving, limit the amount of penalties each game, prohibit alcohol, and promote a fun and safe atmosphere for people to play hockey in. We hope this video has helped to bring clarification to what is and is not a penalty.